Well, God bless you. I am so glad that you took a minute to listen to this. It has been a long road. (laughs) I'm excited to announce that finally we have taken the flight. I tell you, it has been something else. Preparing the cardboard that God has given me to uh, participate in making sure that we meet all the standards that are required to give you know, bona fide credits that we've been doing over the past 20 years. And this is not anything new that you're getting on our new uh, site that has been posted that only for your eyes that you get an opportunity to witness. Now, just want to make sure you know that there's no need to forward this because it is for subscribers only. And I've sent this to you because I know that you are educated and that you are a either teacher or facilitator in many different ways. So I did not send this out to people who I know that may not meet the criteria to be an instructor or facilitator to get certified, you know, through our uh, association. So just wanted to share that a little bit and then give you a couple of little nuggets and get off of here. When you look at the website, you'll get a chance to see maybe some errors. So let me know so we can catch those. Uh, you'll see um, on our homepage, you'll see our upcoming orientation for the credentialing types that are be going forth, which we have several, but just want to kind of share uh, those that you'll have an opportunity to get your credentials in and accreditation so that you can do the same thing we do. Um, my ultimate goal, what God has me doing for this new season, um, is to take this particular jet or, or plane, whatever you want to call it, and that is to make sure that I recreate what he's given me to make sure these things don't go to the grave with me. And that is so that you can, you know, develop your own university and so that you can begin to, um, you know, equip those that God has put to your hand and also so that it can broaden your educational opportunities within your business or ministry. So when you go in, you'll be able to see our services overview. Uh, You get a chance to see what we're about. Uh, Some of you that may be getting this, you've had several classes through our LLU, um, and you've also taken a bunch of other classes through our uh, accredited school, which is ELST. And so all the credits that we give, we are certified by the state of Texas, as well as I have multiple other certifications as an educator over the years, worked for a college for several years, and so this is not something that's just been created. The Lord has anointed me to do such, and so now uh, our accreditation is out there to give you accreditation for what you are equipped to do as well. And so that's what this is about. So go through the website. You'll be able to see some things there about uh, preparing a service assessment analysis for you to see where you are to develop your university or your school within your ministry or your business. Uh, Because remember, this is both for secular and faith-based as well. Uh, You'll see some of the fast track that we just gave you a little glimpse of. We have several others I'll mention in just a few moments. Um, You'll also uh, just see a little bit about our cardboard, what their responsibility is as far as our standards for giving accreditation, and then you'll see some frequently asked questions that are there in case you have some questions about our um, educational program accreditation that we've been doing over these years through LLU. Uh, So you want to subscribe, and the reason for that is because people who are not subscribed will not get any information concerning our different trainings you know, continuing in the future. As a matter of fact, the Lord has instructed me to pull these away because I've been uh, teaching a lot and giving different information to others. And and in the past, uh, many of them, I'm not saying it's you, uh, but he said that you have been uh, throwing your pearls to swine, which means that a lot of people have gotten a lot of information uh, preached a good message some, through some of them and have not done anything to be able to equip the body for kingdom building. And so, therefore, um, I will no longer be giving any lessons out unless it's something on a live, but it will not be any trainings or anything like that. So if you're interested in any of these types of trainings to further your uh, ministry for kingdom building and your leadership, uh, then you'll have to subscribe here. Otherwise, you won't get anything here. Not that hours or so that in a bag of chips. It's just that I'm obeying God, and that's just the bottom line 
on that. And so that's all that is for that. So just wanted to give you an opportunity and want to congratulate you for all that you've done over the years uh, as far as you are educating the body for kingdom building and making sure you know that we must have best practices in this last day. This is the reason why there are a lot of lawsuits with the body of Christ. And so the Lord wants to make sure that there is a university for all. And so, and that is for all of us who are in the body. And so that we can make sure that we know what we need to be doing to be okay. Now there are four particularly right now um, accreditations and certifications that will go forth during the orientation. And maybe by then there may be some others that we may be discussing as well during orientation so you'll know some of those things that are not listed on the uh, FAQ. But you do need to know this. There are several others that you have an opportunity to uh, prepare, and then you also have different areas there that you can ask questions. Make sure you subscribe. I keep saying that over and over again because anybody that are not subscribed that do not sign up or register for our orientation, they won't get any information. As uh, a matter of fact, those are the ones that we're going to look for uh, that have signed up, and anybody else that are on the uh, call, they will be booted off if you're not registered. So we'll just kick you off the call. Just simple as that. So I want to make sure that we are feeding to those people who are trying to go up higher in their organizations and or ministries. So we'll be talking a little bit later on about the other certifications and other credentialing opportunities for your accreditation for your ministry or business accreditation. And so that accreditation will be more explained during the orientation. Uh, we are an association that can do this. Uh, we have done our research, and we, like I said, we've been doing it over these uh, almost well, over 20 years, actually. Uh, people over the years have taken several classes from us and have been certified both for faith-based and the workforce. Now, these are some others that's going to come up. Now, the certified CEU instructor is one, um, the licensed spiritual life coach. Uh, we're not into the regular life coach because we know that the people's life spiritually is going to have to be changed for transformation. So that spiritual life transformation uh, life coach is what we are looking at. And then the uh, the third one uh, is the uh, the certified healthcare chaplain. Now we just got some of those that just uh, finished their healthcare chaplaincy, but we also have a um, uh, doctorate in mental health uh, chaplaincy that's coming up as well. Um, then there's certified mental health crisis interventionalist. That's very important for you to pay attention to that one. That one come up because it is in this hour, as you can see, uh, mental health is a really, really big issue, and we need more crisis interventionalists. And so we will be doing that class as well. Many of these are only 12-hour classes, so you want to be on the orientation to hear that. Uh, and then the grace phase. This is a very serious one. The grace phase pastoring and parenting cultures. Um, you need to make sure if you're a pastor or a minister, you do want to take that class for the SSA cultures. Uh, the grace phase part of it for pastoring and parenting these populations is very important to prevent lawsuits. And then the SSA Spiritual Recovery Group Facilitator. Many of you have those populations in your churches and your ministry, and they're just sitting there. you got to know how to deal with the soul of those populations. And so we're going to teach you about that. And everybody already know we've been branded, and to God be the glory, over the years for our certified sessions of care counselor training. Um, and that is our signature. That is one that God has blessed over the years to transform lives and families. And then every third Thursday, you don't want to miss that on our blog. You may not see it just yet on the site here, but every third Thursday, we will have a blog that only for subscribers, again, they'll get free CEU blogs online, which will also include uh, study resource toolkits. So you want to make sure that you subscribe. And then, of course, um, there's going to be uh, continuous classes on writing, orientating, and enforcing business and ministry lawsuit prevention policies and procedures. We have a whole lot of churches and ministries do not have the, uh, the appropriate policies and procedures for safety and for leadership development 
and enforcing what they say that they would uh, would like to happen in their business of ministry. So that's all I got for you. I pray that you'll be blessed by what you see. Please let me know where you see some typos or whatever. We're going to probably catch them later on anyway. But just want to make sure I got this out because it had to go out today. I showed the devil he's crazy. The jet has already soared, looking so much to be able to serve you, your ministry, or your business. No need to share this one because it is exclusively for your eyes and your ears only because I know with experience from what I've seen in you, that you qualify for the education, accreditation, and certification that's required to develop your own school of ministry. God bless you. Talk to you soon.